the next thing i just wanted to talk about here is um this lady sam divine right i'm not sure again i've, I'm, I've just found out about her through videos and stuff online she's a dj i think she's signed to defected records so you already know what kind of music she's going to be playing majority kind of tech housey you know elro sort of type of stuff type of music stuff that i probably won't necessarily go to as a as an event but you know i'm not i'm not um remiss from you know seeing a couple clips online or whatever maybe um so there's this image that i've seen actually online let me see if i can find it actually where is it there's a picture here online or a video of her performing and it kind of got me thinking about the whole outrage with nina kravitz and her braids and it kind of got me thinking about maybe not hypocrisy or maybe just the idea that what I was, what I said previously about Nina Kravitz and the braids controversy is that I think, by and large, when people go extra hard at people and try to get them cancelled or try to get them, you know, banished from the scene of society, it usually has more to do with the person that's saying it. Maybe they're a hateful person or they're going through some shit, you know, whatever they may be. And it also has a lot to do with how that person is viewed in the industry. So if you see someone going extra hard at somebody you think is unfair try and reserve judgment don't just jump straight the window straight away because usually most of the reason why it's happening is because people in the industry have decided they've had enough right this person's a shithead we hate them they're rude they're they, you know they're not polite and shit they're up their own ass and you know we're gonna use any opportunity to kind of you know throw stones at them that we can find look you can look no further than the controversy with amanda seals right um she's kind of been pillowed all over black twitter for the most part and some other youtube commentary channels who have essentially called her out on being a bit of a narcissist right um thinking that shit doesn't stink um you know going on a breakfast club and saying that people the reason why she's not like i think Charlemagne asked her oh why do you think people don't like you she's like oh because i'm too smart or because i i'm what some haters think i'm what some haters wish they could be or some some really weird backwards self congratulatory claptrap right so people are calling her out of her shit and then once you start reading between the lines and you hear some stories of some other of her co-stars you get the feeling that people actually don't like her as a person so all the things that she thinks happens to her personally people not inviting her to parties and she not being invited to certain groups or certain circles she thinks is an agenda but the actual reason behind it is because people don't like her as a human being right so sometimes you have to think okay cool the outrage in this or the cancellation outrage or the mom mentality is kind of justified people don't like you and they're trying to send you a message so you get the feeling with Nina Kravitz, that's the same thing happening there, right? I'm not sure what's happening behind the scenes, but it seems as if people behind the scenes don't really like her and are using any opportunity to kind of counsel, get her, out of, get her out of dodge. And the reason why it made me, it kind of reaffirmed that theory because I saw this video of Sam Devine performing, I think at Mixmag or something, and she's got braids on, right? She's wearing, she's got braids on. Um, she has the similar kind of hairstyle that some of these people, some of these work people on Twitter were complaining about. And there's no negative comments no real you know bad things said underneath the video the ratio on the video is pretty high as well in terms of likes to dislikes nothing i don't see anything happening there i even went on her instagram page because i think she got a picture of her with the braids on you know whatever doing her thing is an actual up close video of her also talking to the camera like the same sort of thing i think that nina kravitz did when she was kind of saying she's going to do a, a performance you know the same sort of selfie images that we see of Nina Kravitz and no one's calling her out on it. And Sam Devine is probably more whiter looking wise than, than, than Nina Kravitz, I would say in that regard, right? She obviously looks like she might enjoy her, you know, her rum or whatever it may be, but she's she's legitly white. There's nothing black about Sam Devine. She looks probably closer to a racial dollar zone than, you know, Nina Kravitz does, but no disparaging comments. Now, I wonder why that is. Is it because she's on defected records and defected records is, you know, is probably the closest thing you're going to get to an urban tech an urban electronic music label right and that, is that kind of cringy to say i don't know right you know shuffling and you know boys in really tight shirts and sunglasses and hirachis and side bags girls wearing really tight spandex and neon clothing you know like you know girls do that kind of professional goth the professional like club kid wear they're like um you know have you ever seen people that go to grace mulo in berlin right I think girls that listen to Tech House in the UK are kind of like the posh version, the sorority version of them. The girls that took showers instead, they've got like a full face of makeup on. They kind of like, they kind of put on rave clothes like paint by numbers, isn't it? It's not necessarily a lifestyle. It's just something they put on when they're going to perform. So maybe that's why people don't really give a shit that Sam Devine has braids on, but no one, no one's really complaining. No one's going to care in that regard. And it's not like she wears this all the time. She's got pictures of her in her normal kind of Caucasian hair. No one gives a shit about really long extra get you know ghetto kind of nails 
I don't know. Maybe it's just her look and everyone knows her. But again, it just makes me think that the outrage around Nina Kravitz was mostly about people just not liking her as a person. Which, you know, which is fair. But let's just call it what it is. But yeah. Here's her performing and doing her thing. She's a, she's a stellar DJ. You can't take nothing away from her. People are having fun and dancing and doing their thing. But yeah, man. She's got braids on. And, you know, and a big baggy t-shirt and long nails. And I don't know. Is she maybe appropriating black culture? I don't think so. I don't give a shit. I'm just talking about hypocrisy. Why aren't people making more of a noise about Sam Divine wearing fucking braids, eh? I won't have it. Get on my nerves. But yeah, the set's really good though. Check it out. It's a really good set, as you can hear in the background. I'll link it in the show notes for you guys to just, uh, just check it out. It's cool as well because, you know, most of these audiences and most of these crowds are quite shit. But these people are actually going for it. They're having a good time. They're raving. They're having, a, you know, hands in the air. There's guys here wearing fucking defective merch. So I'm sure they're big defective records fans and big fans of Sam Divine. So big up her and what she's doing. But again, you people on Twitter and fuck that were going after Nina Kravitz. You know what I mean? You guys are hypocrites and shit. You guys aren't really about this life. You're not really keeping the same energy. Maybe because you like Sam Divine, she's probably a nicer person. I don't know. Never met the woman. Never heard her speak. Have no idea. But, come on. Come on, man. No difference here. No difference. But anyway, check it out, man. Um, it's Sam Divine House Set at the Lab NYC, courtesy of Mixed Mag. I'll link in the show notes for you guys to check out yourself as well.